it's been another week. Let's check out our garden. Look at this container. My kale, initial kale is quite large and if you remember I planted some extra seeds of kale so I'm not sure if it's those ones or the original click kale seeds that started finally sprouting here and there. I was so desperate that I just replanted some of my radishes and some of my uh, lettuce here because thinking that my, my kale is not going to grow but either it's the second batch or the first batch I'm not sure 100% but I'm seeing my kale sprout so that's lovely it's gonna be I'm gonna have a lot of kale maybe I'll have to transplant it uh, into some smaller pots later on so here you see it look at the blueberries the blueberries are starting to create the berries so they blossom nicely some of them and the little tiny berries are starting to show up this is all fine some of them maybe didn't get uh, pollinated so maybe there's not gonna be any berries but some are we'll see let's look some are still flowering so i'm gonna shake it again to help it self pollinate uh, look at those ones they are quite large and over there look at those beauties and it's still blossoming gonna shake shake them well to help pollinate those that are still flowering okay. look at these beauties these are the not self pollinating kind type and it's blossoming very beautifully i hope we have enough bees to pollinate them because they'll need to cross pollinate this one needs to go there and that one needs to go here <laughs> and vice versa and i don't see no bees so i'm really hoping that i'm shaking them but i don't think it's gonna help still i'm hoping that they will pollinate and they we will have some berries you see there were a couple and the blossom is done so i'm not sure at all if, it, if they are going to be pollinated it doesn't look like that well, we'll see the my early um strawberry is blossoming and some more here this is my survival tower otherwise those ones that I transplanted this spring and was trying to get rid of the moss uh, it's probably dead because I don't see any life signs it does look not dead but it's not moving so I'm not gonna throw it away for anyways I don't have what to plant over there so I'm gonna keep it hoping they're gonna still get back to life otherwise in the fall when this one's gonna be giving um, smaller ones babies I'm gonna then transplant them all into my planters look at the mint this one is nice this one is even, uh, got sun bitten so I didn't really like as much of the sun that we were having lately but it's still gorgeous a gorgeous bush and this one got bigger and wider and beautiful it was also sun bitten at the beginning but now the other couple of days we didn't have any much sunshine so it's doing well and the onions green onions or how do you call them the forgot the name doesn't matter and the Mm, lettuces that I transplanted are doing fine not growing much but are doing fine scallions here the name <laughs> remembered and the other scallions are doing pretty cool and the other ones are fine 
and the radishes that I transplanted uh, to help them not to throw away you know the excess uh, uh, radishes but to use them so that's why I transplanted them and some more radishes here they are looking cool I think they feel awesome and some of the lettuce let it, uh, lettuce yeah lettuces still tiny but doing fine not too bad either here mm -hmm. and my chives my chives aren't okay let's say not too many i was uh, using a part recently i cut them you'll see recently to and had them for lunch but they are coming back already pretty fast so i'm gonna have probably to cut them again so they again start growing look at my spinach they're looking pretty cool large and nice and bushy smaller ones are still too small to have larger ones are good to go and I'm, I've been using some I'm gonna use more and this is one of the original containers of my lettuce and I trans as I mentioned I transplanted some of them into the other containers I was showing one with kale and those ones uh, that uh, were empty but now with uh, radishes the up top ones so it's doing pretty good you see those ones this this part is the original part and then i was taking some of them that were too close to each other like this one and transplanting uh, into other parts and uh, if you see those ones that are transplanted they needed time to adjust they needed the um, roots to grow in the soil and then now they are getting kind of better and growing but these ones because they stayed in their original place they are doing cool look at the original radishes radishes they are doing pretty cool they can try this one's nothing I don't think this one's having anything in it but uh, I think I saw some of them were doing pretty cool and were having bulbs maybe not that one either uh -huh, look at that one look at this see it's starting to get a little bulb of radish over there and I've seen a couple more I don't want to dig uh, into them too early to disrupt them you know but I have a hope and this is the again the combined uh, container I think this is the one where I planted my peppers and they normally sprout forever they took a long time take a long time so what I've done I transplanted some of my radishes and lettuce here because I had a lot they are thriving well so while we are waiting for the peppers to propagate we're gonna enjoy the other things and this is my greens container as you see the dill is sprouting nicely and beautifully again some radishes and lettuce except for the dill I have um, I guess some other greens but I'm not 100% sure what that is at this point we'll see later on if there's something else which di looks different than dill oh this is the coriander it even has its little seed <laughs> stuck to it so coriander is also sprouting 
and this one I'm not sure maybe it's arugula I'm thinking we'll see later on and this is these are the these are the lettuces that sprout, sprouted from the winter remember I was telling you that I had some of the seeds sprout just from the soil that I had staying here over the winter and these are the, the, the row of those uh, lettuces from the winter and those are the new ones from that original container that I transplanted here to let them grow okay let's take a look at the uh, the strawberries this is the ever-bearing kind having some little tinies of the strawberries and another variety of my blueberries 7.18 look at them flowering beautifully I'm gonna shake them to help them pollinate and again my ever bearing strawberries who thinks <laughs> probably killed them but this one survived you see and even growing and even leaves not the other ones okay let's switch back to the cucumbers nothing nothing here yet and my radish is striving <laughs> smaller but striving another pot with no signs of cucumber but the radish is okay same here if you remember i added some cucumbers recently but look at this one just look at this can you see that can you see what i see can you see a couple of cucumbers here? Oh my gosh, some are sprouted. And I'm thinking I even seen two. I was doing one, one, like one, 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 like four per pot, but I'm seeing two, so that's possible that my original seed finally sprouting and the second one is sprouting. We'll see, I'll give it some time and then check out and this one is beautiful as well and I'm thinking maybe there is also the second one because if you see there is something hiding there so that's gonna be very interesting if I have two and two then I'll be able to transplant that one while it still doesn't have too large of a root then I'll transplant them over here and over there Oh, this is probably also a seed, and it looks like it's probably wanting to sprout. Yeah, look, then I can transplant that somewhere else. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like this part is it because of the sunshine? I have no idea, but this part is already having. My cucumber sprouting finally! Oh. And again, nothing here. But look at my tomatoes. Those are gorgeous, man. I didn't expect them to grow that fast. But they are just awesome. Look at something I'm gonna show you here. Look, where is my finger? Can't see it myself. Here. Okay, look at. Okay, the focus not there, but I'm gonna try and shake it and bring the focus. Look at this. You see this tiny? I think this is the flower. <gasps> look at this. It's even clearer. You don't have to even imagine. Look at how large they are. Come on, focus. Look at this. You see that? This is definitely the flowers. So. It hasn't been too long. 
I was thinking it's gonna take forever for them to get the age of maturity but they are and they are not as huge they are smaller but they are starting to flower maybe another week or two because it's still kind of they are in buds form so to say stage and a couple of my radishes that I transplanted one is really small not doing well like doing okay and another one is good so two are just smaller this one and that one and two are large and nice but the tomato is awesome and the second one the one that's green look at it too look at this look at all these bots that's amazing that's totally amazing and smells so nice mmm smells the meter love it the radishes are doing fine over there one over there over there over here and over here wow that's how it looks my vegetable garden this morning love it i hope you enjoyed too if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel make sure to click the bell icon beside the subscribe button to be notified about all new videos or live streams